Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the recent report from India today, the BrahMos 2 will be hypersonic missile and it will probably have a range of 1500 kilometers. Trials have put its speed at utmost Mach 8 making it the fastest in the world. It is likely to enter prototype stage in next 3 years and series of tests of missiles were conducted at a speed of around max 6.5. Atul Rane, CEO and MD of Brahmos Aerospace, was speaking at an event marking the start of India's Silver Jubilee Year celebration of one of the country's most successful cutting-edge military partnership program, which has produced the world's best, fastest, and most powerful modern precision strike weapon, the Brahmos. He said. Brahmos Aerospace is capable of making hypersonic missiles. In 5 to 6 years, we will be able to have our first hypersonic missile by Brahmos Aerospace. If we talk about India's hypersonic missiles, there are various programs which are being pursued concurrently. These are Brahmos 2, Rudram 3, HSTDV, Shore Missile and Hypersonic Glide Vehicles. In today's video, we are going to discuss in detail about the BrahMos 2 program. India has collaborated with Russia on the development of BrahMos 2 hypersonic cruise missile with maximum speed between Mach 7 to 8 and range over 1000 km. The BrahMos series is being developed by BrahMos Aerospace Private Limited, the joint collaboration of India's DRDO and Russia's NPO. Machinos Thruania. The same firm has developed Russian Zircon. It has been said that Russian Zircon missile technology might be used in Brahmos 2. Russia has successfully tested multiple times Zircon hypersonic cruise missile which is good news for India as it will expedite the development of delayed Brahmos 2 hypersonic cruise missile. The BrahMos 2 is supposed to be powered by an air-breathing scramjet engine similar to Zircon missile. Zircon is believed to be a maneuvering winged hypersonic cruise missile with a lift generating center body. The booster stage with solid fuel engine accelerates the missile to a supersonic speed after which a scramjet motor with liquid fuel in a second stage accelerates it to hypersonic speed. The BrahMos 2 is also expected to work on similar lines. The missile's range is estimated to be 250 to 500 km at low level and up to 740 km in a semi-ballistic trajectory. Its average range is around 400 to 450 km. The longest possible range is around 1000 km and for this purpose a new fuel was created. Some internet sources even claim the range of missile can reach 1000 to 2000 km depending on the type of target. The high speed of Zircon likely gives it a better target penetration characteristics than light subsonic cruise missiles such as Tomahawk being twice as heavy and almost 11 times as fast as Tomahawk, the Zircon has more than 242 times the cruise kinetic energy of a Tomahawk missile. Its Mach 8 to 9 speed means that it cannot be intercepted by any existing missile defense system and its precision makes it lethal to large targets such as aircraft carrier. Zircon can travel at a speed of Mach 8 to 9. This has led to the concern that it could penetrate existing naval defense systems because it flies at hypersonic speed within the atmosphere and the air pressure in the front of it forms a plasma cloud as it moves. These plasma clouds absorb the radio waves making it practically invisible to active radar systems. This phenomena is also called plasma stealth. With plasma stealth, hypersonic speed and sea skimming technique, intercepting a flying zircon is extremely difficult, if at all feasible at the current level of technology. 
the final section of trajectory will be overcome in minimum time under 10 seconds and the enemy will have no time to respond for it. The Brahmos 2 will almost going to follow the same features of Zircon. Therefore, it's important that we understand what are the features of the Zircon missile and how it's going to function. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.